How many trophies can I gain in Clash of Clans within one hour? Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. In order to push trophies as fast as possible, I am going to use a mass minor attack. The miners have a training time of 27 seconds for six housing space. If we compared that to, let's say the hog riders, they are less housing space with even more time. I went through every individual troop to try and assure that the army I selected was super fast. Currently, I am at 3,634 trophies. The reason we are doing this experiment is because I need to gain trophies for the video that you guys will have seen by now, where we placed the battle builder huts around the town hall for defense. My first army is fully loaded, but I do have another army cooking in the background. So the one hour will begin right now as we use the training potion. And let's go ahead and find a base. We need to find a player that has a high amount of trophies. Loot is a bonus. Here we go, 32 trophies, a good amount of loot, which, like I said, is a bonus, and we can certainly spend a couple of minutes trying to find a high trophy raid. What do we do with this one? I think let's just start the queen charge over by the enemy queen so that I can take her down really quickly. I think the blim will be the best option, I want to say, and let's send that in from the other side of the base. Let's use the rage spell actually didn't bring any wall breakers which is less than ideal shall we say but trying to create a little bit of a funnel here for my troops to move on in and let's go with wizards over this side with the minions and i can flush the miners in from the opposite side let's go heal spell for the miners as they drive into the center look at how epic the royal champion is doing to help the miners let's use her ability and i think let's go with the freeze spell over in this area queen's ability as well taking huge damage there miners slowly pushing down the bottom let's use the grand warden's ability because if i can i would like to save on to maybe the heal spells anything we can save on to is going to be useful but we do need to make sure that we actually get the three stars like I said, for some attacks, it might be that we just go for the one or two stars if it's more time efficient. But we certainly want to get the three on this one. And I think we're good at the moment. We might have to use another heal spell just to make sure. This is the issue. Trying to be too careful can end up really costing you. So let's just use the freeze spell. It's my clan castle freeze spell so we might as well use it to assure that we get the three stars the queen has done nothing but batter through walls the whole raid so that teaches us that for the next attack and the ones throughout this hour we do need a wall breaker at least or the super wall breakers are better in my opinion so that's what i mean but here we go the opening three star and that's pretty good in our one hour journey because it's 32 trophies 33 trophies it is a town hall 13 but it is all about the trophies so let's attack it i think if we send the battle blimp into this area there is a scatter shot an eagle a multi and a single target inferno as well as an expo so let's send in the battle blimp and let's hope we can actually make it i'm pretty sure we can come on battle blimp you've got this you've got this oh there's a black bomb Oh, it's still going to make it perfectly, though. Gets the expo. We'll get the scatter shot. One Yeti gets sprung off the map. So we do get the eagle just, but we miss the single and the multi. But I'm pretty happy with that. Let's start with the king and a couple of wizards on this other side. And what I'm hoping here is we can send the miners in pretty quick. Let's actually start them now and send the queen in towards this area. Okay, looking pretty good. Let's use a heal because there's a giant bomb on the outside of the base. Pretty unusual, shall we say. Let's go with the 
Royal Champion ability, a Rage, the Grand Warden ability, a Freeze, because the single is onto my Queen. It was doing a phenomenal job there as well. Miners are in front of the Queen now, which is pretty good. Means my Queen is protected. Let's go with one other heal spell, and let's see if we can preserve the rest of the spells now. I'm pretty sure that we can. Sprinkling the troops on the outside of the base. We need to get a balance throughout this because whilst we do not want to use the spells, we also need to try and preserve the hero health. So this is looking pretty good for another high amount of trophies. 33 trophies. And there we go. We already have 65 from the first two attacks. I did get an A in maths by the way. This is the issue. We have a couple of minutes to wait now. I actually have two poisons. This happens to me all of the time. I'm sure you guys can relate. Let's train up exactly what we just used. Request our clan castle troops and we can start the search again. Thirty-three trophies for this one. The town hall is near the edge of the base. And I want to see what will happen here if I just do a queen charge. And maybe we even leave and just get the two stars. Let's allow the queen to take the air defense. As soon as the air defense goes down, we can send the healers in. That means they are well protected. And let's just walk the queen around and we can bust her into the town hall. She's actually moving in towards the base, which is pretty good. Let's use a rage here to protect the queen and heal her back up. We are at 22%. Remember, we have the Grand Warden's ability that we can use. I might just send the battle blimp in as well in order to gain the town hall. We've got the unicorn on the king, 30%. Okay, I think I want to just send the battle blimp into the town hall. Battle blimp goes off. Queen and healers are taking damage. I should have actually gone full out with this one. I really should have. So the yetis are getting the town hall. That will go down. Oh, it doesn't. Plan B, it is. King has gone down. Let's send the Grand Warden in with the Queen so we can protect the Queen. Using the Grand Warden's ability, we can send the RC in with the ability. Try and get through some of the defenses. The shield actually did not go for the Town Hall. We got the two stars and there we go. We just about protected the Queen as well. Okay, well, that didn't work out very well because I have five heal spells now. Could have managed that one better for sure. 31 trophies here and it is a Town Hall 13. So this is the type of player we need to be attacking. Let's actually charge directly into four Expos. I wouldn't normally recommend this, but actually, since we have a maxed level Queen, I think this is a pretty good play. Now, we do only have 87 trophies right now, which is less than ideal. I thought we might have been able to get a little bit more than that, to be honest. But if we were lower down in the leagues, how well do you think we would do? I think we would do significantly better than this. And maybe that's a video we do in the future, trying to gain trophies from the lower leagues. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to see that alongside my educational but entertaining Clash of Clans videos. Now, the queen is working pretty good down this side. I'm actually going to start with the king. A couple of wizards. Let's break the queen in now to this single target inferno compartment. I do have a freeze spell and a rage, which I am going to use for the queen here. Let's freeze and let's send the miners direct in here. That means the miners will go into that area king is over there with the rc why don't i actually send the battle blimp in towards the eagle because i don't think i need it for the miners grand warden's ability let's use the battle blimp now on top of the eagle we actually have an e-drag inside the clan castle not expected let's use another heal in the middle we know what happened last time when I didn't use the heal spells. Looking pretty good here. I do need to consider the use of hero abilities if it's going to help protect them. Let's actually go with the RC shield right now. That will protect the royal champion, heal her up, but also the miners are now in front of the royal champion. I still have three heal spells and I don't think any of them could be used to protect health on heroes or anything like that. So I think we will just wait and the hero abilities are now automatically used. Previously, you would want to use the king's ability to preserve his health, but now it's automatically done. Pretty sweet addition from Clash of Clans. This guy is a Town Hall 14 with Town Hall 8 walls. We are going to get another three star, 31 trophies. That's going to push us up to nearly 150. Oh 
my word. This is the most amount of loot that I have ever found in Clash of Clans. 25 trophies as well. And it is a level one base. And yet he has the Eagle Scattershots Town Hall 14. Wow. Let's give this a shot then. Could I queen charge the entire base? I'm more than confident we can get all of the loot. And I just want to see how far we get with just the queen. Just trying to see if there's anything I can snipe off at the sides. And really, I just want to wait and see where my queen goes. Why don't we blimp the center? Could we actually get in towards both Scattershot and the Town Hall? It's a low level base. Come on, Blimp. Let's get the Rage down. Oh, it was just taking a little bit too much damage from the air defense. We'll get the Eagle, probably a Scattershot, maybe even two. Oh, the Yetis actually go to the Town Hall. They get a Scattershot. Oh, they missed the Town Hall, but that is huge value. Taking out the, the core of the base. And now my queen just walks around, trying to push her in towards the town hall. The single, although it's level one, will still take my queen down pretty quick. So I need to freeze that. So the queen is going to take out the royal champion, no problem. We might as well rage her, then we know she is absolutely fine. I'm not going to risk my queen going down. And let's start the king over here. The wizard, freeze that single. Hmm, I think the Royal Champion could be good here. She will be able to get through a lot of defenses. Queen gets through the single target Inferno. Can we do this without the Miners? I'm more than confident we can. The Scattershot is actually on the healers, and I do need my Queen to survive. So let's freeze the Scatter and the, infer the Air Defense. Let's actually use the Royal Champion's ability. It got the Air Defense to protect the healers. And I cannot believe that we found this much loot against a base like this as well, where it was a comfortable victory. I mean, I will take the 25 trophies, but I could not pass this up. I think it's the most I've ever found. And I will be sure to share this with you on my Twitter page and on my Instagram page. I always like to share my huge loot raids. Another huge loot raid. One million elixir. 800,000 gold. This is pretty incredible. It only has 29 trophies. I say only, that's still a large amount, but we have been finding trophies in the 30 region, but I kind of want to take this for the loot. I kind of want to get my blimp in towards the single and scatter shot, but let's start with the queen on this side just to begin the walk. And the Yak is actually busting us into the wall quite nicely here. And actually, why don't we just set up the funnel at the opposite side? We can use one of our wall breakers and allow the king to carve a path to the opposite side of where our queen is. And now I can send the battle blimp in. Right of the way through, let's freeze the Expos. Battle blimp drops, gets the air defense, single will fall, and an Expo. And we're even going to get the scatter shot there. That was fantastic value. And not only that, we've carved pathing for the queen to move down over. Now let's just send the hybrid in. The miners, sorry, I'm not used to using hybrid, but in this style of attack, cooking the hog riders would just slow me down. So the miners move in. They have a clear path to the town hall here. And I just need to be careful with the spells. I mean, I keep trying to preserve the spells, but if... I am to learn anything from this. It's really that I should preserve the hero health. My queen has gone down. I need to do a little bit better at preserving the health of my heroes, not necessarily the troops. There we are, another three star, another huge amount of loot. And 29 trophies brings us up to 203. So let's start with my queen and the healers the target is to take the eagle down early on so that then it's not going to be slamming into the miners throughout the raid let's use the king on the opposite side of the base try and at least take down this multi-target inferno tower and then the miners can move all of the way through the northeast side and hopefully to the town hall but actually I might just send my blimp through this area as well, just to make sure that we get the town hall and the miners can just move around it, actually. And why don't we just send that battle blimp into the town hall, get a little bit more damage in the center here. Maybe I could have sent the battle blimp maybe into a single target inferno, but oh well. 
Town Hall falls. Miners move through the center. King's ability with the free spell. The single target Infernal was really doing damage. I could have maybe sent the Battle Blimp into that area, trying to rage both the Miners and the Balloon, but it didn't pay off. The Balloon has missed the single. The Miners will get there, but my King has already gone down. Queen's ability burnt on the other side of the base. Single target Inferno now locks onto my Grand Warden and the Miners just are not going there. I tried to save onto troops and spells and in the end I should have used them early to protect my heroes, but it's all 33 trophies. Okay, we're getting down towards the final five minutes and I want to hit the 300 trophy mark. So let's go ahead and use just a couple of gems to speed up the next attack. This player has 32 trophies. If we were to take this, it takes us to 268 trophies, meaning another base just like this would get us 300. So let's start with the baby dragon and the queen down to the south of the base, king to the opposite side, and I'm trying to preserve my hero's health here. So I want to deploy the miners pretty quick. As soon as that funnel is created, we can get the queen into this side towards the scatter shot. Make sure that scatter shot is tanked and here come the miners from the bottom left hand side. This is basically trying to protect my queen. Battle blimp in towards the center. See if I can get that single target inferno down. Just try and help the miners scoot around into the eagle. Town Hall is upgrading and let's freeze everything here. We can use a rage spell with the yetis by the battle blimp. Miners getting held up by the clan castle troops big style. But they finally get through. And the yetis are helping in the center. Now this looks better. My king has gone down but look at the other heroes. Queen at full health. Grand Warden at full health and the Royal Champion at full health. Finally, I have learned my lesson to just send the miners in. Don't try and worry about holding on to set troops and spells. Preserve the hero's health. This one is a crushing three star, 32 trophies, but we are running short on time now. Only a couple of minutes left and I want to get the 300 trophy mark. Three stars, 32 trophies, but let's get back to base and get the army cooked up because we literally have a couple of minutes. Thirty-one trophies! Clash of Clans, what are you doing to us? Thirty-one again, and we need thirty-two to hit the three hundred mark. Just in time, we found a base with thirty-two trophies. It is a Town Hall 13, so we should be able to get this, and I can throw everything at it. If we get the three stars here, we have gained 300 trophies, but we need to make it happen. Couple of balloons with the battle blimp. Let's try and take down the single, the eagle, the expo, and we can even lure the clan castle troops. Are we going to get the queen as a bonus? Queen goes down, single falls. We've lured the clan castle. We even pop the tornado trap and take every single defense in that area. That was fantastic. Queen slowly moving forward. We can poison the Edra. Where is my yak going? The mighty yak has moved across to the army camp. Move around where the queen is. There we go. Finally moves back towards the queen. We don't have the king with us this time. I wasn't going to gem the king since he was the only hero that went down last time. So why don't we use the baby dragon minion? Got a wizard here, and let's push the miners in. We learned from last time, get the miners in early. We need to rage the queen as she enters the center of the base, and that means the single target inferno should not be attracted to the queen. Now let's rage the queen. She enters the town hall area. The miners are still swooping around the outside. This is working perfectly with the queen through the middle and the miners moving into the different compartments. Now my royal champion can be reinforced from the six o'clock area. Might as well use the heal just to assure that we get this, but we still have all three hero abilities and I am finally learning 
to use the troops early to preserve my hero abilities. Let's just use the Royal Champion's ability now. Queen still has her protected, the hero's health rather, and it is going to be the three stars. Just in the nick of time, we managed to find a 32 trophy raid. Didn't have the most amount of loot, but we managed to build quite a lot over the course of the one hour. And there it is, 3,934 trophies, 300 within the hour. I was in the Champions League because I had dropped previously to see what type of players would attack me in the Bronze League. If you want to see that video, it's on your screen alongside the subscribe button. You guys take care and I will see you in the next video.